Hey, Red Wing fans, Ken Kell for Game Day Preview, presented by Comerica Bank. Big Atlantic Division showdown tonight at Joe Louis Arena between the Detroit Red Wings and the Ottawa Senators. It'll be the second meeting of the season between these two clubs. Every game's important, but what about this divisional battle tonight against an opponent like the Ottawa Senators? Well, it's uh, it's important. Uh, I think uh, right now all the games are, you know, we, we know that we're home here a lot, you know, in December and in November, and, but after that we're on the road almost uh, every game, so we have to take advantage here and play good hockey and, and, and get some points. Senators come into Hockey Town with a 9-6-4 and four record, good for 22 points. They dropped a 3-2 decision to the St. Louis Blues on Saturday afternoon. The third period seems to be the problem for the Senators. They've scored just two goals in the final period while giving up eight during their 2-3-2 and two stretch. Clark MacArthur leads the Senators with eight goals, but he has found the back of the net just once over his last seven games. He does, however, have four goals in his last four games against the Red Wings. The Red Wings took four out of a possible six points in their three-game road trip. They dropped the 4-1 decision to the Toronto Maple Leafs in Toronto on Saturday night. Tomas Tatar has had the hot hand for the Red Wings. He has scored five goals in his last five games. He has eight goals and three assists over his last 11 contests. Tatar and Holt gave it on a cross now for a pass to Tatar. He scores! Tie game! Tomas, a couple games ago in Winnipeg, uh, I predicted you are going to score a couple goals in that game, and you, you answered with two goals, but you've been on fire of late. What's the reason? I don't know. I'm just getting good bounces, you know, around the net, and um, kind of everything what I what I shoot on the net is end up in the net. So it's kind of nice to have this kind of role, this kind of feeling right now. So hopefully we'll continue. You and I should meet for coffee more, right? Yeah, yeah. like you predicted by the coffee that uh, you know you, you got to hang out. We got to hang out together more than once. Stephen Weiss is back with the Red Wings. He scored two goals in two games in a conditioning stint with Grand Rapids over the weekend. Stephen, good weekend in Grand Rapids. How are you feeling right now? Uh, excited, yeah. Really looking forward to the game tonight. Uh, it was nice to get a couple games in, in, in GR in, uh, in a back-to-back -back situation. And uh, uh, happy to be back here and uh, looking forward to the game. Yeah, good for him. Uh, it's a good opportunity for him. You know, he's going to have to grab hold of it, obviously. He's been, had a good NHL career. It's been sidetracked for two years. Uh, played in Grand Rapids, got hurt the first time, played again the second time. and. You know, now it's up to him because we're in uh, the business of winning games and everyone's got to command their share of the ice and, and get their share of the ice time. And so uh, he's going to start on a line with your corn helm tonight and uh, we'll see what happens. Fans get to the Joe early tonight because the first 7,500 fans entering Joe Lewis Arena will receive a Justin Applicator bobblehead courtesy of AT&T. Justin, you know you made it in the National Hockey League when they give you a bobblehead. Uh, I guess so. I guess so. It's looking pretty good. Interesting. I got... Uh, Got the hair going and uh, got to turn the stick around a little bit here, but yeah, it's looking uh, it's looking pretty respectable, Ken. What do you think? I think it looks great. You got to ask Pavel Datsuk there. What does he think? Pavel, what do you think? Let's get your approval here. First time you head up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, smart guy over there. How about sign it for one of our fans? Yeah, absolutely. Pav. For me, it's this for you. Yeah. From Mr. Obligator. The neighbors, left side. Left side neighbor. Yeah. Congratulations. You All like right. it? Yeah. No, it's great. Did a great job. Looks uh, looks good. I'll be excited to see the other guys, see how they turned out. So I think this might be one of the better ones. The Red Wing lineup's going to change a little bit tonight due to the fact that Stephen Weiss and Jakob Kindle will be playing. Henrik Zetterberg's in the middle between Justin Ablocator and Gustav Nyquist. Riley Shahan is centering Johan Franzen and Tomas Tatar. Darren Helm in the middle with Stephen Weiss on the left side and Tomas Yurko on the right. And the fourth line stays the same. Luke Glendening with Joachim Anderson and Drew Miller. On defense, Nicholas Cronwall teamed up with Jonathan Erickson. It's Danny DeKaiser with Kyle Quincy. And Jakob Kindle teaming up with Xavier Ouellette. Starting goaltender tonight, number 35, Jimmy Howard. Puck drop tonight between the wings of the Senators at 7.30. You can catch the game on Fox Sports Detroit with Ken Daniels and Mickey Redmond or tune in on 97.1 The Ticket with yours truly and Paul Woods. For Comerica Bank Game Day Preview, I'm Ken Cal. Enjoy the game, everybody.